Hello there, welcome back. In this video we're going to be looking at a few flashlights. Now, most of these I have reviewed in previous videos, so if you look through the video description you'll be able to check out the full reviews of them. But in this video we're going to be looking at them with a view to whether they're actually any good for EDC, everyday carry. And when we're discussing whether they're actually any good for EDC, we'll have to understand what we mean by EDC. This can mean different things to different people. Basically, I look at EDC as a collection of useful things you can fit into a small bag that you can carry everywhere. Now, EDC bags may be put together very, very differently from person to person based on their daily circumstances and what they think should go into an EDC bag. But certainly, I would say a pen knife or multi-tool something to light a fire and something to light the way. Three things that are absolutely essential. So whether that's something just like a lighter, a Swiss Army knife and a small torch, that would be the core things that I would have. EDC is just a small bag of useful stuff that can be called upon if needed. So I'll quickly run through the seven flashlights we're going to be taking a look at and give you a little bit of a rundown of the stats and the features of them. Then I'll go through each one and assess my idea of whether it's any use for EDC. Now if you're a regular viewer and you've checked out some of my previous review videos, you may notice that there's, I think, at least two of these flashlights coming up that I haven't done a standalone review on. And that's because I've done quite a lot of flashlight reviews. I don't want to get bogged down reviewing flashlights and flashlights and flashlights because a lot of them are very, very similar. I actually turned down the vast majority of the companies who want to offer me flashlights to review because I've got to have something a little bit different. So there's two in there that are quite similar to ones that I've already reviewed and reviews on either those particular ones or very similar ones are absolutely all over YouTube. I don't want to do standalone reviews for them. Doesn't mean to say they're no good, it's just the world doesn't need another review of small flashlights. And that would be the triple A flashlight from Lumentop and the double A flashlight, which is the Archer 1A from Through Night. I will, however, run through their main features and I'll let you know what I think of them at the end. Let's start at the beginning. Here we've got a mini USB flashlight from GearBest. I reviewed a very, very similar one in a previous video. And this one's got a maximum output of 130 lumens, which is quite phenomenal given its tiny little size. It's got a attachment here that allows you to fix it to your car keys. So that really is one that you can carry everywhere and just forget about it. And this one is charged via a mini USB, which is a pretty standard fitting throughout the world. I think pretty much every phone uses those, apart from Apple devices. Plug that into your computer or into any other USB outlet, and it charges this thing up. Very small, pretty powerful, very versatile. And believe it or not, this tiny little flashlight has actually got three different outputs as well. So flick it on once, a very, very low one, do it again, medium power, do it again, high power. Now this uses a tiny little rechargeable battery, that's it there, fully waterproof and shockproof, as I said before, it fits to your car keys or it'll just go on your bag on a zipper, that's the smallest of the ones we're looking at today. Right, next one up, this is a Lumen Top AAA flashlight. Clip on there for your belt or your pocket. On off, on the back, fully waterproof. Reasonably high output as well, 110 lumens, which is any amount bright enough. But with this one, you actually change the power by just half pressing the on off switch. So you've got a very, very low one, medium, and high. Again, that's waterproof, shockproof. And it takes one AAA battery. Now 
Now that one is the only one of the ones we're going to look at today that actually comes with something useful. This is the packaging for it. And you can just imagine, you take that out, you've got a handy little container there. It's also got a clip that you can attach to your belt or your keys as well. And a couple of spare seals. All of these flashlights come with spare seals. Next up, we've probably got the best known of any of these flashlights, and that's the Through Night Archer. It's basically a bigger version of that Lumen Top AAA. This one takes one AA battery. And it has a maximum output of 200 lumens. Just like the previous one, that can be taken off and reversed. And I'll show you why I have it what most people would consider to be the wrong way around in a moment. That's also got the on off on the bottom. I don't know whether you can see but it's firefly mode. That is about 0.2 lumens. Enough to see in total pitch darkness. But it does have adjustments here for your higher output settings. So it's back to firefly. Low, medium, high. And if you hold in the button, it switches to a strobe. So there you go, another waterproof, shockproof one. That one takes the most convenient battery of any of these ones. And it's just a very good flashlight. Now next on our list is the one I reviewed very, very recently. This is another through night one. This is the TH10 head mounted flashlight. And this one has a maximum output of 825 lumens. On off button on the top, which you hold in to cycle through the power settings. Double press puts it into turbo. Double press again puts it into SOS mode. And this one takes what I like to call an AA on steroids. This is an 18650 battery. Notice there, 4000 milliamp hours. That isn't the official through night one, but it's one I've substituted it for. Very comfortable to wear, waterproof, shockproof, etc, etc. Next one up is another one I've reviewed reasonably recently. This is a 3,400 lumen diving torch from Light Take. One output, which is very, very high, with a sliding magnetic switch. Again, this one is waterproof and shockproof. Well, obviously it's waterproof because it's a diving flashlight. And this one takes two 18650 batteries. has double seals there for deep water use. Now the next one we're going to take a look at is a little bit more than just a flashlight. This is a Suaoki 10,000 milliamp hour power bank and flashlight. And as well as having various outputs and an SOS mode. This one also has the ability to break windows using that, which is like a safety hammer. Cut through seat belts using that, which I've demonstrated in a previous video. I'll put links to all the useful videos in the video description. And it can also charge other appliances. We've got a USB outlet for charging other devices. And we've got a mini USB outlet for charging this. Indicator lights to show you when it's fully charged and a waterproof seal. So this one's waterproof, shockproof, etc, etc, just like all the rest. And this one has got a maximum output of 280 lumens. And now on to the monster. This is the TN36-UT. Variable power outputs. Double press for turbo mode, which is 7,300 lumens, and double press again for strobe. All that from one button 
on the top. Now because of that incredible output, it does need quite a power bank. And this one actually takes four 18650 batteries in that cradle there. This is a real powerhouse. Perfect for search and rescue. And just like all the others, it's totally sealed, waterproof and shockproof. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. A modern day magnificent seven. But are they any good for EDC? Okay, the first one that we had a look at was this tiny little fella from Gearbest that was charged up using a USB. It's a cracking one to take with you when you go to your place of work or school. Places where there is going to be USB outlets. It's also a very good one to take if you're camping. You can just basically put that in a corner of your bag and forget about it. If your main flashlight fails, as long as you've got some way of charging it, whether that's a solar charger or whatever, you can put power into this and use it as a backup. I wouldn't say it was a main EDC one, unless it was actually attached to your keys, your car keys or your house keys. You could carry this everywhere without ever thinking about it until you needed it. And then, hey up, turn it on, and you've got light where you need it. It is a very, very good one, assuming you've got some way to recharge it. The next one we looked at was the AAA powered one from Lumen Top. A lovely compact size, very robust, variable power outputs, and a handy clip here. And I'll show you what I use this clip for. Normally that would be clipped into a shirt pocket or a trouser pocket and it would prevent it from coming out. But it does have another use as well. If we flip it around, it can be fitted to a peaked cap. And then when we turn it on, we've got light wherever we look and two hands free. Excellent if you're lighting fires or doing anything that requires two hands. So for EDC, that is a very, very good one. Only minor point I would say is that AAA batteries, although they probably will be found in every home, they're not as common as AA batteries. So kind of long-term apocalypse sort of thinking. You might want to go for a AA. General day-to-day -day use and EDC, I can't find anything wrong with this. Very, very good. So the next one, the Through Night Archer, which is powered by the AA, is pretty much just a double A, slightly bigger version of the previous thing that we looked at. Um, and I can't really say much more about it. It still has the clip, which allows us to flip it round and use it as a head torch, providing we've got a peak cap. Even if we haven't got a peak cap, these things are small enough to hold in your mouth if you need both hands. So that's not really an issue. You don't have to wear one of these caps. Still reasonably compact. AA batteries literally are in every home in the land, certainly in Britain. Not sure about the rest of Europe, and I'm not sure about the rest of the world. That makes this one very, very good for EDC. Now on the subject of flashlights that we can mount on our head, giving us both hands free, we've got the Through Night TH10. Same benefits as the rest of them, apart from the fact that it uses that big battery which makes it not really suitable for EDC. There is another version of this called the TH20, which does use a AA battery. It hasn't got such a powerful output, but you don't really need the level of power that this thing's got. For EDC, if you were contemplating a head torch, I would go for the TH20, not the TH10. Now the next one we took a look at was the 3400 lumen diving light from Light Take. I would say that was probably one of the least suitable for EDC. It's quite big, heavy, one power output, and it takes those big 18650 batteries. Very good as a search and rescue light, and certainly underwater use would be no problem. Plus, it fits to my rifle as well, so it makes an excellent lamp and light, as you'll see if you check out the review video for this fella. But I wouldn't consider it an EDC light at all. And that is a kraken setup. Now the penultimate one that we took a look at was the Suaoki 10,000 milliamp hour flashlight and power bank. 
And this one really covers quite a lot of bases. It's certainly too big for everyday carry, i.e. something to carry in a small bag, but as something for emergency use in cars, I don't think it gets much better than this. If you just have this under your seat, you get in any sort of crash or wreck or you're stuck in the car, flip that off, smash, and you're out the window. You're hanging upside down, cut the seat belt off with this, and it does work, as you'll see if you check out the review video for this. Added to the fact that you've got a usable flashlight with a decent output, 280 lumens, and the fact that it can power small appliances, makes this one an excellent one for car EDC. Now the last one we took a look at was this monstrous beast from through night. It's about the size of a small coke can and I would say it's heavier than a coke can. No good for putting in a small bag. Uh, given the fact that it is only a flashlight, no good for really having in your car either. This is really a search and rescue light. We can pretty much rule this one out entirely for EDC. So every comparison video has to have a winner, doesn't it? Well, it does. And for everyday carry, personal carry, I would say the Through Night Archer, simply because of the fact that AA batteries are all over the place. It's waterproof, shockproof, variable power outputs. It's extremely well made and it can fit to a cap. That one for personal EDC, you cannot really be bettered. And forget about the name Through Night. There is a nation of other manufacturers making ones pretty much exactly the same. Possibly not as well made, maybe it's not as expensive, but when it comes to things that I want to rely on, I want quality. So I tend to only buy quality gear. Certainly this fits the bill. It's got to be Through Night's most popular flashlight. I don't know that for sure, but I would say it probably will be. Best one to have in your car, there's only one choice. That's the power bank from Suaoki. It's really an excellent thing. This thing just lives in my car and I really hope that I never need it. But if I do need it, it's there. That one for car use, definitely. If you're interested in any of those flashlights, I'll put a link to them in the video description. Thanks very much for watching. If you found this video useful, please share it anywhere you want, and I'll see you next time.